Hi guys, welcome back to my English channel. I'm starting today's video with no makeup on. I mean, all I have is my brow and my mascara on because I wasn't even gonna record for you guys today. I was here doing my makeup because I need to go out. I'm back home. Since I'm very tired from travels, I decided to try this concealer today. This is not a sponsored video by any chance. This is very organic. This is a super organic video, but I decided to shoot for you guys because number one, it is a drugstore product, which you guys love. And I don't wear that many drugstore products on my videos, just because, not because I don't like them, but because I get so many makeup at home and I end up using those high-end makeup that I get. But I'm always trying drugstore products because I feel, you know, when it is something good, it's good to tell you guys that and show you guys that it is worth getting instead of getting a high-end one. That's what I wanna do today. I wanna try this little concealer here. It's called the Infallible Full Wear Concealer from L'Oreal. Some people are saying it is like a dupe from the Tarte Shape Tape, which is one of my favorite concealers out there and it got me curious is it really similar is it worth exchanging the Tarte one to this one which is much more affordable so I'm gonna try it on right now for the first time and you guys will see my reaction I'm gonna do it without foundation and with foundation on so you see the real thing and then I'll tell you guys how it feels on my skin how long it lasts because it's very important concealers and foundations I'm very picky about them I'm picky about the texture how it's gonna last on my skin it doesn't matter sometimes you put on a foundation it feels amazing it looks amazing but it doesn't last or it dries too much it makes you wrinkly I'm really picky and I'll tell you guys the truth on this one like always on any product that I use let's get to it because I'm talking too much so the first thing I do, I'm gonna do the whole routine for you guys. I'm gonna apply a moisturizer. I'm using this one, especially now that the weather is getting warmer. The Vichy 89 Booster, which is a skin fortifying booster. It's like, it hydrates your skin, but it's very light on. It's perfect. I always wear it in the morning. I don't wear it at night, but I wear it in the morning before my foundation. It looks like this. I think you can get this at drugstore too. I always get it on Amazon, but G was telling me that you find it in drugstores, which was surprising to me. So it dries really fast on your skin. I'll put a little bit of eye gel on. Guys, always hydrate your skin before foundation because sometimes you're like, oh, my skin is too dry or it's too oily. Hydrating your skin really controls that the oiliness and the dryness. So always make sure to hydrate it, okay? I use the Biosense eye cream, eye gel. And now I'm ready for concealer. So as I said, I'm gonna try concealer without foundation first so we see how it looks on the skin. And then maybe I'll try foundation with concealer on top because that's how I really use concealer. And let's see how it goes on the skin. So I got color 360 and 370. 360 is, I feel like my color, my right color is 360 because 360 is a bit light, 370 is a bit dark. So I'm gonna mix both. And even the brush on this, you guys, is very similar to the Tarte Shape Tape. Look at that. It's a big brush, which I love about the concealer. I feel like I threw mine now because I ran out of it, the Tarte one. But it was like such an iconic concealer. I didn't buy it again because I keep using the Huda one now uh, and still the NARS. So I, I don't have it. I, I don't have it with me. But you guys remember it, right? Okay, so I'm gonna apply like I apply any concealer and a little bit of 360. So it lightens it and let's see how it goes on the skin i'm gonna apply with the blender with the brush okay so my first feeling about it is how it blends it's actually pretty good the consistency it blends really easily wow blends actually blends beautifully oh my gosh <laughs> it's very i can say to you right now very similar to shape tape how it blends in the brush and I'm looking at like close up on my pores. It's so beautiful on, wow. I'm like impressed. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be that good. Really good coverage. As you saw, I applied, look at the difference. I applied, you know, the same amount as apply with any concealer and not a lot of concealers. Um, and with some concealers, I have to apply twice to give me like good coverage. I'm just, you know, what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna apply this on my whole face. The darker one. 
it blends so well and i keep saying that but it's such a good perk to have on a concealer it's how it blends because if your concealer is hard to blend it's terrible and that's one of the reasons i love the huda concealer because it blends it goes on so easily and so smooth i'm really excited to see how this stays on because as of now i'm giving this really like a 10 or a 9. i'm even scared to say a 10 because you know it's my first time using it wow okay i'm gonna leave this one side with just concealer and the other side i'm gonna do a lightweight foundation and concealer on top so you guys see this is crazy and it, it literally can be your foundation it's so easy to blend now that i have it all over i'm just gonna lighten it up a little bit here i'm gonna get my beauty blender to just highlight this area like we always do it's definitely, I can tell you too, that it's definitely worth getting a darker color for your full face. You know when you're lazy, you're going to work, you're in a rush, just put concealer on, a little bit of bronzer and you're done. I feel like this concealer would be a good all over the face concealer. Wow, it's so nice on. It's not cakey for a concealer. It's not cakey, it's not heavy at all. I know in camera you guys can tell, but I'm really loving this again guys this is not sponsored okay <laughs> i keep saying how good it is because it's really good and sometimes when you say products are good these days people think you're saying it because it's sponsored uh but it's not put a lip tint on so it gives me a Ooh, this is lancome okay so yeah with only concealer on this side then you guys can see the difference and now what I'm gonna do is apply a lightweight foundation and the concealer on top. I'm gonna use the Benefit one, the Hello Flawless, all over. And as you guys can see, I have a lot of redness on my face. It really covered everything without even using like a primer or any of that. So this side is gonna be a bit more tanned <laughs> because the foundation is a bit darker. Okay, I feel like the concealer itself is even better than just this foundation. Wow. And now I'm gonna use concealer here. So excited about this. I love the big brush, I really do. I'm gonna put it around my mouth like I usually do and I'll put it a little here. Then I'll get the brush. And blend. It is very important for me too on how the concealer sits on your favorite foundations. So, no, concealer is really good, G. It is? It's so good. Even like by itself, no host. One side I'm doing on top of the foundation, the other side just concealer. Oh, yeah. So good. So, overall, I'm very impressed. I really am. Um, <laughs> I can tell you guys, I'm gonna see how it, how long it lasts on my skin, but as of now, if this really lasts on my skin all day, I don't keep having to like touch up. You can definitely change your concealer, especially if you have the Tarte one and you love it. You can definitely change it to this one. I'm 100% impressed. L'Oreal did a very good job, I can tell you that. Okay, so now I'm gonna let this concealer set on my skin. I'll apply a bit of bronzer, I'll do the whole thing like I usually do and then after a few hours I'm gonna come back here, record for you guys and show you how it stays on my skin so you see the true result after a few hours because you know at the end of the day we want something that's gonna last when we're at work, we're out partying, wherever we are so I will show you guys in a few hours what it looked like and right now I'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup really quickly Okay, I am done and I'm gonna do whatever I have to do, go out. When I come back, I will show you guys how this makeup looks and how it lasts on my face. This concealer especially. So one thing, I did not 
apply powder on top of it. I would like to see it with powder. I wanna see it without powder first, how it looks, because the consistency, I know it's a type of concealer because it's so creamy. I can use powder on top of it, it won't be a problem, it won't be too cakey. So I wanna see how it lasts without powder because I don't like to use set it with powder every day. So I wanna see if it really lasts without the powder on top, okay? So I'll see you soon. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I am back at the same place that I left you. Ooh, I'm breathing heavily because I walked up the stairs running. Um, so this is my makeup. I did not touch my face at all or my concealer, nothing. I'm trying to make you see it closely. So the fact that I did not powder the concealer, usually I use the usually I use the Laura Mercier on top to set it. I did not set it and it looks like I did pretty much. It creased a little tiny bit on the wrinkles that I have here under my eye, but it's super normal with every concealer that I use, even like the best ones. I'm trying to look just to see what I can tell you about it. And you know what I really loved about this product? Like this side of my face that I only use concealer, it feels like it just looks like I wore a really nice natural foundation, but with coverage. So I feel like I'm gonna be using this as a concealer and definitely as a foundation as well. And I mean, let me put this back because I'm like breathing really so heavy. And I really thought before making this video that before trying this product that I was gonna come here and at the end be like, okay, this is definitely not as good as the Tarte Shape Tape, but I was wrong and this is amazing. It is very similar to Tarte, uh, to Tarte Shape Tape and you can definitely get this instead, okay? This is an amazing concealer. So my overall thoughts is this is really an amazing concealer. You can definitely get it, try it out. Just make sure you don't get a color that's too light or too dark, because I know sometimes looking on the bottle, the bad thing about you know um, drugstore is that, is that you cannot try it before buying it. So I'm gonna give you one comparison. So I used the combination of 370 with 360. So I believe 365 will be perfect if you are a custard medium one on NARS, for example, okay? So that's the comparison that I have. So do I think this concealer is worth buying? Yes, it is. It has passed the test. I really love it and I'm so happy that I tried this. Actually, G that works with me told me, I, I've heard so many things about this concealer. I think you should try it. And I was like, mm, I don't know about this one let's see because a lot of times she tells me to try things and i end up not loving it so much but this i really did and again this video is not sponsored no one is paying me to say this even when i get paid um on certain videos i am telling you guys the truth always if i say yes to a branded video is because i tested the product before it's because i loved it before talking about it okay so always Make sure you have that in your mind. I will never come here and say I love a product when I don't, okay? Because I believe that at the end of the day, you go, you try it, and you find out it sucks. It's just gonna ruin my reputation anyway, right? So, yeah, uh, I love the concealer. If you guys have any other products that you want me to test out, drugstore or any other brands, let me know in the comments. Uh, also, my, on my latest unboxing video, if there's anything out there that you want me to try, leave me comments down here as well, okay? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay beautiful and stay concealed. Mwah. <laughs>